This morning, the man known as the Swoosh Bandit is in the Pulaski County Jail. Terry Tate Jr. was arrested yesterday. Police believe he robbed several stores, all while wearing Nike clothes. He's charged with several counts of aggravated robbery and theft of property. He does not have a bond right now. New this morning, a Chinese company hopes to add more to its pulp mill near Arkadelphia. Sun Paper hopes the $800 million increase will bring 100 jobs. Governor Hutchinson calls this a testimony to the quality of our state and our workforce. Production expected to begin in 2019. That's just next year. We Senator Jake Files' last day in office will be February 9th. He submitted his resignation yesterday. The Fort Smith Senator is now waiting to be sentenced for wire fraud, bank fraud, and money laundering. His last day will be just before the start of the fiscal session. As long as we are proud of who we are and what we are fighting for, there is nothing we cannot achieve. In a State of the Union covering several topics, President Trump called for unity. During his 80-minute speech, he talked about the benefit of his tax cuts for middle-class Americans. He also dedicated several minutes to immigration reform. Trump is pledging to end chain migration, now calling for a merit-based immigration program. This plan includes a pathway to citizenship for nearly 2 million undocumented immigrants. It also seeks stronger border security. Above all, he wants to make the country strong for its legal residents. My duty and the sacred duty of every elected official in this chamber is to defend Americans, to protect their safety, their families, their communities, and their right to the American dream because Americans are dreamers, too. The official response from the Democrats came from Massachusetts Senator Joe Kennedy. In his rebuttal, Kennedy criticized the president but never used his name. As for immigration, he says he will continue to fight for dreamers. You are part of our story. We will fight for you, and we will not walk away. During the State of the Union, several people protested outside the Capitol. They showed support for the DACA program, Black Lives Matter, and the environment. No word on if anyone was arrested. For the first time, Hillary Clinton is addressing why she let a campaign advisor keep his job amid sexual assault allegations. In a Facebook post, looking back, she says she would have fired Bernd Strider. He was her faith advisor in 2008. At the time, Clinton says she didn't think firing him was the best solution.